Hello friends, Michael Stempest here. Today we're trying out the new Lab of Legend Heroes, and next, now we have Lissandra up. Uh, we're gonna, basically, one thing I'm gonna try to do is always pick a new passive power. 3000 Essence. Yeah, I've, I've been hoarding a little. <laughs> Start of game, summon two Vanguard Lookouts. So, I'm pretty sure those are three threes. Uh, whoa, Start of game, summon a Sparring Student. It's probably not very good in our Lissandra. Yeah, we should probably take a look at the deck. Alright, so Frozen Thrall thingy. Challenging Regenerator dud. Catalyst, Lissandra, Innkeeper, Ice Shards. Uh, yep, this isn't going to be very good in our deck. Let's just try Vanguard Lookout. You know, starting the game with stuff is pretty good. We could also do infinite free rerolls, but I think this is a fine power. Where's Vanguard Lookout at 2-2? Eh, we'll find out. Or is it the 1-4? I'm surprised they didn't have the, like, gold text. Click to get a reminder. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We're gonna keep Ice Shards. I think I'm just gonna maul the rest. Eh, we'll keep Frozen Thrall, whatever. I do like how they, it seems they've built this deck where it can actually level up its fucking champion. Okay, yeah, it is the 1-4. You know, I'm still down. This is a lot of meat. You know, if we draw that uh, dumb 5 drop right, we can, we can get our landmark on. Number 2... I love the satisfying thud of when you play the Frozen Thralls. And we're really set up to deal with the Spider Swarm with a double ice shard. I'm just gonna play Lissandra since she has tough. Um, can't fully really block her, so we get a little more damage this way. The only downside now is, like, I guess our board is so full, we can't, uh, really play a whole lot more, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Alright, there's the big boy. Pass. Uh, there's really... Yeah, I'm just gonna Ice Shards, I don't wanna take damage. And this really only stops one damage. But, F it. Um, let's attack, see what they do. We can kill them with Fury of the North. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the kill. They need Grasp to not, to not die. Right, they don't have it. So we only took one point of damage. Yeah, I do think those the powers that summon random shit should tell you, like, what they do. Um... <sighs> <sighs> I oh, know, all these kind of suck. I'm just gonna reroll. These are all like kind of boring synergies. I don't mind Kindred, since um, we start off with free uh, trash bodies in play that we can sacrifice off. Like having free material to Sudoku, I think will make uh, doing Kindred stuff a lot easier. Stats and keywords, yeah. So I think this is a keep. I don't think Catalyst is a keep. Three Sisters is just like too versatile. Yeah, so we eat one of these and it becomes what a 3 6 fearsome. So 
but then it can block Mist Rape. That's that's pretty sick. Also, one dope thing is we get um with this power we get early hits in too. Will block for food. <laughs> Um, we'll pass. I'm gonna play Lissandra. There's not really anything they can play that punishes us. First, like what they play 3 2, Stalking Shadows. I got Shadows into an Ephemeral. It's kind of annoying, but that's like a huge mana dump. Yeah, so honestly, we just attack with all of them. Because getting the point of damage here means our Ice Shards gets to kill it. And said they just block like that, which is also fine. They're down to five. Now we mask Mother the other lookout. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the fucking kill them line, not the dirtily do nothing draw cards line. Alright, they got nothing. Open bash. Yeah, let's play this. Like, the deck does have life gain cards, so... And also, yeah, they could've played the Mist Wraith, uh... Chumpy Chump. Uh, we'll keep Lissandra back. We'll attack with these two. Mark, and then Kindred kills it. Alright, at least it counts towards the progress. Whale. Um, I'll just give it 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. Or blown out a bit. Yeah, this wasn't maybe the tightest play. Yeah, not the best, not the best. Spectral Matron summoning a 3-2. So we can just play the 7-7 seven, seven and we can still stop everything. Fine and good. Block this, block this, block this. Still a 30. I'm just gonna play the other one. Actually, no, I'm just gonna open. Alright, they go to negative one. Alright, we still got them. <laughs> Maybe it took a little more effort than it should have, but eh, what can you do? kind of like a cheaper Lissandra. Um, get her into play quicker, get a Frozen Thrall quicker, makes Inquisitor better. Um, yeah. Seems fine. I like can't not click UI elements that are like, click here. It's like, yes, yes, master. Uh, I don't like Pledge much. I... I think Chronicler is too low impact in this deck. Like, I know it has Kindred Synergy, but, like, that's basically fucking it. 
like nothing else has a summon effect except like I guess we could get another like thrall. It seems really fucking weak. I'm just gonna take rolling death because it's like mana impactful interaction and not like a dirty piece like you don't want to pay four mana for a three three laps, right? That's just garbage. And our deck's just not full of synergies. Summon synergies specifically, because plays don't trigger. Get out. First time you slay. I'll just keep Kindred. It seems like fine-ish anyways. Turn one, turn two. We really want to get Inquisitor. Also, there I I know they m made landmark powers because we saw one in the Fizz run. So maybe we can get some of those sweet fucking powers they should have made for Talia when they released her. Message from the past, I'm at Thresh and the internet's being cruel, might have to settle for the VOD. That is weird. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, I will be... Well, like, Twitch will... I mean, YouTube always uh, puts streams as VODs anyways, and I'm gonna be chopping this up. For consumption later. <laughs> Do we get to open bash? Yeah, we do. Uh, I think I will open bash. This is probably excessive. I don't think we need to play the third one. It's like, when we do get the Inquisitor and unlock these, or if we do, like, they're just gonna fucking die. We don't need 24 power in play. Yeah, like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have even played it. Uh, I don't really want to block with Sandra. Block, block, block. I don't even know if this is good. <laughs> This is weird how, like, our board instantly fills up. Inquisitor. Let's make it easy. Oh. There's no way they block with Thrash, right? Loose attack? Maybe. <laughs> um... Okay, that's fine. Um... Chump and trade. What a slash. Okay, yeah, they're just trading. Maybe this is better, so our ice shards can, um... Do some stuff later. Or like a second ice shards could do stuff later specifically. Heal up. Inquisitor. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think I want to save this for their turn. Right on time. 
Uh, ice shards. Block. This way we kill the tortured prodigy. It uh, saves us damage. Also it lowers uh, overall toughness. So our overwhelming stuff gets to get in. Okay, no point in playing this, because like now we're gonna try to kill him with overwhelm damage. Hmm. Probably want it to be hearable, right? Uh, can't summon you. Box doesn't do anything? Box just does nothing, right? Oh no, it does damage to our stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's just play two. It's only three damage. Yeah, let's play double ice shard. Because it uh, does damage to their face and it also removes toughness, so we overwhelm for more. I think they're dead. Hopefully as long as Thush doesn't level. GG. GG. He'd be dead even if he did level. Alright, what do we got here? So again, we're going to try to... Alright, I'm not taking the second one, and I only want to take new passive powers, so... Let's re-roll. Um, yeah, hold them off, I think is fine. It's actually kind of annoying. We got double um, new, like, like we got these in the Fizz run. But, you know, if you're watching this for the first time, it's still going to be cool, at least. Yeah, so the strongest unit will be Frozen, and we start the game with two one fours. Um... Honestly, I don't think this spell is particularly great, but the reason I'm picking it is because we're, we're like pretty good at getting Frozen Thralls into play between Lissandra and this, and I really want to be able to find more copies of uh, Bracklorn Inquisitor. Sounds actually really good, right? Yeah, I'll just keep it as is. Rolling death actually seems playable here. You know, uh, we have one fours. They play a lot of tiny shit. Nice hit. Yeah, I kept the spirit leeches just so we can, you know, we have stuff to eat. We'll play Lissandra before this. I think I'm just gonna open attack. So I keep forgetting this also summons a Thrall. So I think we're going to be playing a Whirling Death this turn, just to kind of use, use our stuff efficiently. Just gonna give Lasanja 3 4 8 and beat the shit out of this. Uh, 
Fury. Three, four. Um. Yeah, block. Take two. Pass. Pass, Reno. I really like this frostbite power. It's so good at slowing the game down. Uh, I'm gonna keep this back because we're gonna eat it. Mm, actually, no, I want to attack with it. I actually want to trade this off so we can make room because we have to make room for two things for our Inquisitor. This doesn't kill her. I think the AI has problems with tough. <laughs> cards. Bank three. I'm gonna say I don't really care if Lissandra lives. Um, I'll play Inquisitor though. And we're probably flash freezing this just to prevent big damage. Block, block, block. Block, 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 block. Flash freeze. Flash freeze prevents the most damage. Um, I could also... Scrying... Eh, I guess we want this to live. Yeah. Flash freeze is the easiest answer. I hate how they sort these. What do you think of the power that makes all summoned units a dragon? I like it because it keeps units alive longer, but most wads I see are reluctant to take it. I think it's good. Um, I just don't like... Um, I don't think its power level is particularly high. So that's why I'd, I'm not like always jumping on it. But it's not a power I'm like... I, I get it and it's like, ah, woe is me. Uh, which is your favorite deck in general? Um, I think, weirdly, anything with Demacia in it, I've, I've kind of become, like, a Demacia fuckboy. I really like the card, uh, Screeching Dragon. <laughs> I like, I like, I like the challenger mechanic. I like having control of the board. But because I play competitive so much, I've just gotten used to always shuffling through decks. So, I don't really, I like Skargrounds. Skargrounds is fun, too. If seven mana, let's just play this. Yeah. I, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> uh, yeah, this seems fine. We'll keep Lissandra back. Favorite meta ever. Oh, when I could, um, when, like, personally, like, my personal favorite meta was when Elusive Burn was a tier 1 deck. Like, so that's back when, like, Crimson Disciple did 2 damage, Demolitionist did 2 damage. I got to Masters. I went, like, fucking 16-1 with the deck in Diamond. It was so absurd. Um, probably not good for the game, but, yeah, I really liked that deck. But, like, it probably wasn't, uh, good for the game, because those burn cards were absolutely unhinged. I wonder if we're gonna get Spectral Matron at any point in this, and then we can actually just play, uh... Play, like, the control version of this. I'm not gonna lie, this, um, it's like strong. I'm 
I'm gonna play in Keeper first, so we finish the fight at uh, 30. This deck, maybe Vanguard Lookouts is just like a little unhinged as a power. So let's be real, like the card's not really a two drop. Like I, I like it would be. I think it would be 1.5 mana. You know, if this game had decimal mana or 1.75. But yeah, having two of them at the side of the game just makes everything like super stable. And the fact we get to um. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Makes the game super stable, but also we have the f uh, the frostbite thing, so like they just don't get good attacks either. Like we just slow the game down so hard, we dirtle so well. So I guess that's kind of like the way they made this deck and some of the powers they put in actually lets you play like late game dirtly decks, which is something that hasn't been very good in lab, in my opinion. Um, five, five times, five plus damage four times. Uh, we're not really good at that. Yeah, our deck's not really loaded with 5 powered units. I'm just gonna take Ravenous Switcher. It's a 0 mana 5 4. We start the game with 2 1 4s in play. Um, I would probably still take this if, like, it was the only option. Uh, I can't say no to a 2 mana 4 5 tough. I am not allowed legally to say no to that. Um, honestly, a Poro Snaxing Ice Shard is also probably fine-ish. So, I think you get the Poro before this goes off, so it's probably a bit of a nombo. But the card, Ice Shards, is actually kind of reasonable. Especially when we go against, uh, turrets. So scars. No, I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. This power is cool. Actually, this power made like so many of our picks playable. <laughs> oh, am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. Probably a little dumb. Probably should have played this turn one. Oh wait, I'm just gonna kill it. What? Yeah. Yeah, my play has not been super... super good today. Not the... not the sharpest tool in the shed, I tell you what. might just catalyst if they don't do anything like now we're in the spirit spot where we can't um do you th all right i think they're gonna shoot this i really do nope nope wrong wrong click yeah i am i am i am off today something's weird maybe i didn't sleep well um that's just like a recurring theme in my fucking life <laughs> Since they have Bull El Nook, that's actually like a play they could have that makes the attack bad. Um, Alright, this is got Frostbit. We'll block with this boy. Yeah, the Frostbite power is kind of fucking wild. So we can block, we're gonna take, oh no, they didn't attack.
I'll just predict. Make it uh, do less. We'll, 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 we will figure out some kindred bullshit. Uh, get this stuff dead. Something. Get something dead. I could just play this. Maybe I should have kept Spirit Leech, right? I think we had that option. Honestly, this seems fine, right? Cool. I just want to make room for this. We can do both of these. Cool. Yeah, I'm not used to just, like, throwing away material this much. I always think about things in mana costs, not in uh, alphabetical order. Oh yeah, Kindred's actually so fucking good with the um, Frostbite power, right? Because they'll always Frostbite their weakest, their strongest unit, which will make it the weakest unit, most likely. And then Kindred gets the nom on it. Yeah, these powers are really cool. I think they're, like, better than the old powers. It's like not even that bad. Since, um. Like, legendary is still kind of stupid. Like, I think it's better that they put really cool synergies and really cool effects in the game, and then, like. It, it's like trivial to make the game harder. I do think we are due for Legendary Plus, though. If you behold the message. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rito. Um, I like one of these sweepers. I think I'll take the box. Just because it's actually going to be cheaper than Ice Shards, and it has um, better applications against the Hex Core deck as well. Interesting, very interesting. I would really like if this Mask Mother could get Fury. Cause, because we make these three sixes. We're actually probably a little overloaded on things that kill stuff, right? Two Mask Mothers, two... Two Butchers... Six? Eh, live a little. I guess also Spirit Leech can get bonuses if we like flash freeze the thing it's fighting. We like like we do have three sisters. If I recall correctly, they don't really have stuff we can ice shard.
Yeah, I, I don't know. I really like Lissandra. It's like... It feels good actually playing like a controlling Dirtly deck. That's like not... Awful. Like... Like it doesn't feel strictly worse or anything. Why don't you just have fun and play whatever? It's like, eh, too competitive. <laughs> I think we just smash, right? Let's box. Just to get some damage on this so it'll Sudoku itself. Flash freeze, shoot everything. Whirling Death to kill Asandra. Make room for our Inquisitor. If I give it 3 4, it can kill. Yeah, I guess we'd rather just have a 4 5 tough than like a. Uh, 8. 8 count Thrall. One downside of having all these dorks. Okay, just the one. None of these are battling, so we can't use Rolling Death profitably. You know, I think I'll use Scrying Sands just to make it so we can do some Ice Shards bullshit. So many animations. I think we just fucking attack with everything. Like we can rolling death over here. Oh, you're still dead. Whatever. Oh, fuck it. Pushes more damage. Ice shards, ice shards. Bam. Just wind down to two. Smash, smash, smash. Nice. Yeah, Lissandra's feeling good. Oh no, this Vanguard power might be fucked up. I might have to upgrade it to Epic. I guess it's technically not better than Poro's or Nature's Revenge, but it feels like a... Like it's a rare that's like just a little below. Endurance? Yeah, this seems good. Uh, it's actually like a good power. It's also a new power, which I want to pick and play with. And we have big stuff. 
So giving everything fury. Oh, wait, is this just fury? Oh wait, no, it's 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 better, right? Because it doesn't kill. It's like Scargrounds plus sort of. It's a Scargrounds variation. I feel this is a Hearthstone mechanic. I think it's only plus one plus one Hearthstone. The way it's normally implemented for warriors. Anyways, this is cool because we have uh like essentially if anything survives in ice shards, it doesn't take damage, which is good because Alessandra. Yeah, yeah, we're taking endurance. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Like, sure, I'll take a two mana six seven. If you want to be that way, fine. <laughs> Get in there, goon. Wow, that was fast. Wait, I think endurance might be fucked. Oh, hello. Okay, we are still recording. I am still live. No. Okay, alright, good, good, good. Rito, please. Please, Rito. Rito, why won't you let me love you? Let's see if it works on my phone. I'm just gonna quit the game. Hmm. Actually, n oh. Ew? Yeah, uh, I forgot. Um, yeah, the account thing. Let me in. Okay, okay, we're good. I don't have, I don't have to say any slurs. Slur-free zone still. Where's that Lissandra? This is bullshit. The amazing Rito servers, yeah. <laughs> Let's just catalyst. Get more mana, get a card out of our hand. There we go. Let's have three when we play this. Like, their site's been very slow. And I've really wanted to, like, play this Ice Shards to blow up some, like, stuff. Like, is this even good? It's fine. But, like, we should probably wait. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we'll play Kindred. Our Ice Shards will kill a Scrap Scudder. Are they playing eight burn spells at Kindred? They just fucking put everything on the stack. What is this? And shoot. Mystic shot me. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, regardless, we do this now. So this will get plus one, and then it'll upgrade that, I guess. Yeah, Endurance is fucked with our deck. <laughs> two two fours. No point in not attacking there. Actually, no point in not attacking anywhere.
There we go. So we can play Mask Mother to kill this. I will say, it is kind of like a rich person problem I've had with this card, where it's like my board's too small to accommodate it. <laughs> we... I think we can kill them next turn. Depending on what they... do or do not kill to... Okay. Now we're probably too... We're probably missing too much damage. I guess we have like the rolling deaths and like. It's so stupid. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking endurance might be overpowered. I guess like nothing can really be overpowered as long as like nature's revenge and domination exists, but like relatively speaking, nothing can be overpowered. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. Yeah, they have too many blockers. Yeah, so we attack with everything. It is kind of annoying we didn't get a... Ice shards. Yeah, no way. They, they're dead here. They can stop 15 damage. How does this work again? Level 2? Round start. Fuck. Guess we play it. Oh, tough. Yeah, tough's so good. I totally forgot how tough works against poison puffs. Uh, yeah, it's better to do it like this, right? I'm gonna play one of the three sisters just to get it the fuck out of our hand. Watcher just doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, so it's zero zero, right? Oh no, it's one. It counts it as um a big lob. This does nothing. This gives all of our stuff plus one plus zero oh, essentially. you could obliterate a landmark. How much other healing do we have? We have a cattle yeah we should we should probably just kill him. <laughs> GG. Yeah, endurance is fucked. Imagine if we had some things with uh, regeneration other than the 8 drop. Hey, how's it going, Yuri? Uh, new labs. So, playing, trying them out. We, we already did Fizz. 
And yeah, we're picking nothing but new powers. So if you want to see a quick run summary, it's uh, you start the game with two one fours in play, and then Frostbite, the strongest enemy, and Endurance when everything survived damage, one one. That's so actually been pretty good because uh, of its synergy with Ice Shards. Hmm. Oh, what addition. Probably fifth, right? Yeah, yeah, let's just... We have a completely overstated Spirit Leech. Okay, this... <laughs> Fine, we won't maul anything. Nice, nice. Yeah, this power is a little... I guess... Hmm... Hmm... I'm trying to think how this would interact with Garen, and I don't think they have a whole lot of elite synergies in the deck, or like with his package, because it's just considered strike, right steel protector. You can just open, right? Yeah. That's plus one. Oh yeah. Everyone's a two one. We'll slow roll this for later. I do find it weird they didn't frostbite the the tiny turret on round one. Oh whoa 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 that wait wait that works. That's so weird. I did not think that worked. I guess, yeah, because in my mind I thought something else killed it. Also, this is weird too. The ordering of the Frost White's kind of odd. Uh, Alright, this, this chud. Um, none of this is worth a whirling death. I'll just use predict so our spirit leech gets bigger. This is kind of funny, dumb. Uh, we're going up to six mana. What's the name of this track? Did we hear anything? Okay, yeah, we kind of heard some stuff. Um... Sorry, uh, let's think, let's think. What do we want to do? I'm gonna start getting these. Six. Now let's just take a kindred. Um, so if we play... This was played this turn, this... Let's wait till next turn, because the quick attacker is much better, right? So kill the quick attacker. We'll use Whirling Death to kill this guy. So maybe we go like here, here. This kills that, and we'll use Whirling Death to kill, yeah. And this will also get double buffed because of um, Fury and Endurance. Shh, Jesus. 
Jesus. I really like how our um, kindred's just looking on. It's like, yeah, I can't really do much here. This is whack. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pass. Really? Huh. I thought they would have played something. They really did. Because I wanted the ice shards to do, put damage on that thing. Remove the other one. So that's Frostbit. Kind of annoying. Progress day, seven cards. Yeah, this really sucks, actually. I don't want to take damage either. Oh, wait, wait. We're gonna pump Lissandra from all these ice shards, right? She's... Wait, does this work? I think it does. Yeah, Lissandra goes up. She gains toughness from the ice shards, despite the fact it's not doing her damage. Which is probably a little unintuitive. And doesn't totally track with how everything in the game works. So I think we just play all of our ice shards to bump our goons. Maybe we keep one back. This is wild. This is so fucking wild. <laughs> hmm? I, I don't know. I don't think I want anything new in play, right? Just pass. Uh, pass. Another dino. Let's open with an ice shards. True ice, not fake ice. True ice. Eh, I probably should have played the box instead. It's lame. I think this is lethal. This has got to be lethal. Mm. Yeah, yeah, GG. None of that fake bullcrap, exactly. If any of you like that ice shards, I encourage you to decimate that like button. It helps me out, because then YouTube knows this is the good shit. And subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe. I need to get to a thousand so I can make money. Alright, I'm not taking this. I'm not fucking taking. I don't want... I don't want it. There is a point where it's like, it's no longer good having Lasanjas. Also, I don't think she she's gonna die. Um, I'm just gonna take three sisters, I guess. Yeah, let's reroll. I don't really know. I don't think it overly matters. 
think we got this locked. I'll just take three sisters for Entomb. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Begging? I'm not gonna try the rest. Okay, it's Muhabba, it's Zoom. I'm not trying the last part. Thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Yeah, we just mow the whole thing. Maybe we keep three sisters because of cantrips, I guess. There we go. This is the good shit. Alright, open smash, get in our two damage. We just go thrall Lissandra. God, this power is really good. I think they should make Phage Epic. I don't know. Rare feels a little too common. That or I've just had like, you know, unholy deal levels of luck. I also didn't realize the synergy theory theory has with Spirit Leech. It's like I thought the game killed it. I think I already said this, but um, yeah, let's just eat. Let's eat the one four. That's what I thought. So it's a three five. Yeah, I guess we can save this for later. I'm probably sending in all the goons. Because we want to make room for our Inquisitor. Zzz. We care. We just let this happen. Maybe I maybe I pump here just to kill their ballistic bot. Did they play it this turn? No, they didn't play anything. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. We'll give up some some value. Don't want to play this to. Like that's a that's a huge tempo negative. Uh, let's kill it though. I guess for, for two mana, that's not bad. Keep their board nice and small. Yeah, let's just debuff it. Eh? Uh, skip, skip. Chat, uh, chat taught me that one. <laughs> Alright, so we got nice shards, so we can pump our attack. Nice and huge. Give me that eye shards. Give me that good stuff. They don't have to block, right? If we didn't do this, do they have to block? Okay, I guess. Whatever, we're doing this regardless. Eh. 
Um, three sisters. Technically, they don't even kill it. I guess we just get Fury, so we have Kindred kill him. GG! Nice. Pretty good turn. Yeah! Yeah, these new powers are sick. I wonder uh, how some of the stuff will play in Legendary. It's been pretty fun so far. Lissandra well, feels pretty good. I, I at least in normal, like I was quite impressed. Maybe you need like an early power like Vanguard or Poros or something just to like hodl for a little. Pull them off was also sick yet again, and Endurance was pretty sweet. I think this would... Wait, Endurance is common? Huh, wow. Yeah, I think... I think they should make Phage epic. I don't know, it's a little too nutty. But yeah, that was the run. It was pretty sick. It was pretty full of synergy. It was like that, the Kindred with uh, Butcher and Leech with our lookouts let us do some pretty cool stuff and Mask Mothers. Yeah. Click that subscribe button if you want more Lava Legends content. And yeah, let's see you next time.